All right, so I wanted to come on uh, and do a video. We we thought about, we, you know, Dave and I discussed this, and obviously uh, this tragedy happened uh, yesterday. Uh, I was on my way to Anaheim, and people started texting me um, about midday. And, of course, I reached out to Dave, and unfortunately the news was true that we lost uh, one of our regular uh, people that was on the channel and also a good friend of ours um, that I've known probably longer than Dave uh, doing appearances and being in the bodybuilding arena uh, we lost Matt Porter so um, as you guys know the news is out there um, Dave has been in touch and obviously I heard from his his wife and unfortunately um, you know he has passed and you know right now we're just we're trying to compile something that would bring some uh, positive memories of course and especially in this kind of time these are the kind of videos that I don't like to do uh, but I thought it would be the right thing to do uh, to give credit to such a great person he was uh, he was one of our guys you know and, and uh, he was a bodybuilder at heart and of course very passionate about what he did and I hope that trait continues with the people that he inspired around him especially the people he trained um, he, he is going to be not forgotten, that's for sure, especially on, on, our, uh, on our end because, you know, he was, you know, you were at his house every week. I mean, you were shooting the videos. He was coming to Vegas. Just so you guys know, Dave was coming to Las Vegas and we were shooting our content. And at the same time, you know, Matt became a regular on the channel last, what, three months or so? Six months. Yeah. Six months, yeah. So, and that's, you know, Dave's really been coming to Vegas and, and focusing on shooting him. So, um you know, he'd pop over and visit with Matt, and we got to train together a few weeks ago. Yeah. And the funny thing is, is like, you know, I remember I remember leaving that workout. We did this giant set workout. And guys, listen, I, I'm not used to training Matt. You know, he was still big, big, you know? And I said to Dave even after, I'm like, man, he's still so big. And I was dead, like, he kicked my ass, like, <laughs> you know, and I hope, you probably told him too, right? Do you tell him? No, like, I didn't know what oh. was gonna happen. Yeah. But I figured they would tell him and say, man, you killed Jake. My nervous system was absolutely shocked because we were doing these giant sets and I wasn't used to that type of training. And I remember leaving there being like, man, I need to go home and take a nap. And I haven't felt that way since I was training for Olympia. So, uh, you know, that was just, you know, that's just Matt, man. He just was always trying different things. And I asked him, you know, is this what you did? And he's like, well, I've been trying this for a while. I'm trying different things to kind of shock the body. And, you know, as a creature habit, he was someone that always was like, you know, maybe we can do something different, right? Yeah. And I think that's what kind of was unique about him. He was willing to outstep even successful things in his um, his arsenal to really try to okay maybe there's some other ways that we can change things up maybe just go bored I don't know I mean, maybe I think he just wanted to try different things but we, when, we, when we thought about bringing him to the channel because we're very selective of who we bring on the channel to you're mm -hmm. very since the beginning you said listen I want to use this platform to give a chance for people who are starting their own company who are up and comers bodybuilders to give a chance for people to give them a big platform to get out there but it's important for us to have a variety of different a pool of knowledge, not just the same thing, not just your knowledge, but Matt brought something very different to the table and was always willing to give advice um, freely, you know, and from his own experiences, because uh, we all know that, you know, he didn't always do the right thing. He's made some mistakes in his past and he was very um, open about that. But since then, he actually was doing the right thing and he wanted to use the channel and wanted to use this platform to let people know, listen, don't do what I done, what I did before. I'm doing the right thing now and this is I'm giving it to you guys I'm giving you my knowledge and that's why we thought it was going to be a good fit for the channel on top of course having his support company so yeah and it, I mean he really cared about the people that did follow him and his loyal people because even like we did the supplement thing and if you look back at one of the videos I don't know what the title was the pre-workouts the, the pre-workout thing and we talked about like we wanted to compile like our pre-workouts would be like out of out of like it would be way overpriced, right? Because we talked about, man, what ingredients could we really put into pre-workouts? But everything has to be, you know, you talk to pre-workouts, they average like 40 bucks or whatever. So, you know, you have to maybe manufacture a product for a certain price. So, you know, we were talking about different ingredients and overpricing things. And it's like, you know, he compiled all these things. And he's like, you know, when I, when I wanted to launch the company, I had all these different formulations and it was super expensive, yeah. right, to manufacture. but. He had all these different ideas and you know we talked about the intro workouts and you know what kind of what the pre staying away from the stems and all that stuff and obviously he had 
you know, some health things that maybe he was scared of in the past. Yeah. And I think you look at things a lot different. I mean, me being 45 and, and you know, he, him being, you know, in his 30s and already been competitive and already had some issues um, in the past, you know, dating back to like, what, 2012 Twelve, or time, so. Yeah. Um, you know, and his dad was sick at a certain time. I remember when he moved to Vegas, and you know, he would visit. Yeah. You know, and Dave's like, "Man, you know, he's he's really down right now." And you know, he's like, "You know, can you reach out to him, whatever?" And you know, I checked up on him or whatever, and it, it just worked out that he ended up being on our 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 show, like our channel, and it spread so much knowledge. And we got a lot of faithful uh, followers, not only his followers but new followers, yeah. based on the Matt Porter yeah, series. Uh, series. So. You know, for us, you know, it's a huge, huge loss for us, but we're trying to, um, in this time, it's really hard to say, but try to be as positive as we can because we're trying to say, okay, there's a lot of things out there. We, we don't want to talk about, okay, well, how did he pass? Or, you know, we have to be respectful to a lot of things, and we just want to look at the positive things he brought over. Yeah. And obviously, you're leaving behind a wife and a, and a child. Yeah. You know, that's, that's a big... I mean, I can't imagine, you know, and, and you've spoke, spoken to his wife. I spoke to Rachel, and, and I was lucky enough that when I would go to Vegas and stay at your house, I would actually, most of the time, go to his home, visit with his wife and his baby and his family, and I was very intimate, and I was glad that he let me do that, and I know that, and I'll say just this, because a lot of people will say, well, he abused and this and that, this is what happened, but I know that since... He did things the right way, and he was actually very, very adamant about taking blood mm -hmm. tests every six weeks, going to the doctor every time he could. Uh, if not, if his insurance wasn't going to pay for it, he was going to pay for it out of his own pocket. He was so good about that because since he became a dad especially, he was very conscious. I can't go anywhere. I have a family now. It's not mm -hmm. just about me anymore. It's not just about my dream of becoming a bodybuilder. I have people that rely on me, and he was so such a good dad and such a good father. So. The fact that he's gone after being so careful about his health is really like, ugh, it's so hard to take, you know, it's so hard to take. So yeah, we want we want his legacy to continue. We're glad we did all the videos with him because they were very much appreciated and they're gonna keep going on. And someone actually told me, Dan Salman actually reached out to me yesterday, told me that it's really great we did that series because even though his little boy who's only gonna turn one year old over the next few days, has never really got to know Matt, but we'll be able to go back and see those videos and you know it's not the same of course but uh, it's something you know because his dad was really someone special and everyone who got to know Matt I spoke to a lot of people since yesterday uh, who got a chance to meet him who got in contact with him no one has anything bad to say about him he never had anything bad to say about anybody he's just one of those people that everyone loved and uh, you can tell when they're gone how much of an he, impact they made and that's what made it so great to be um be having be part of our platform and like we said we, we you know we're a bit choosy and you know he, he was you know he was more than just i mean we talked about he was in supplements he was a diet coach yeah. you know now he was he was a father and and he just had a lot of knowledge man yeah. and talking to him like you could sit in a room with matt was one of those people you could sit in a room and talk for hours yeah. and like in circles about like what about this and what about that and I remember you know doing max muscle appearances with him up in like the Washington yeah, Oregon area Oregon. you know yeah. so and you know I remember his wife coming in Rachel would come in and they'd come in together together forever but you know and she would always kind of ask me questions back then and, and Matt was just kind of he was kind of like the standoffish and she was like right out like <laughs> if I'm gonna if you want I know she would be like I'm gonna ask Jay and she would ask Jay you know she'd ask me like you know this or that and, you know he at the time he was really wanting to be competitive and get a pro card you know at the national level and you know he was big he always had those big shoulders man I, I remember asking him for the first time the first time i met matt I'm like damn what do you do for your shoulders man because <laughs> those shoulders were like you know and the problem was his shoulders were so big he overpowered his arms right so it's like i dude you got to downsize your shoulders a little bit to get the the arms to grow i mean it's kind of like my leg issue when i was younger i had to stop training legs in order to let my upper body catch up and uh, you know that was probably one of the better body parts and it just so happens that that's what we trained that day right we yeah, did shoulders. shoulders and I'm like dude like you need to train I would if I was him I wouldn't even train shoulders anymore you know <laughs> and uh, it's just it's just crazy because um, you know someone's there one second and then gone the next so it's kind of like surreal and I you know when I talked to Dave yesterday you know he was home editing videos yesterday he didn't even go to the gym you know and, and he's training for a contest right now uh, which he hasn't announced um, what he's doing yet but 
you know, as, a, as someone that's training and having like a vision, oh man, like that's your job, right? You go to the gym every day and you know, you're training and you don't miss days, but he was so down like yesterday because you know, it was like, it was coming on the new month and you know, we were shooting a couple of segments each month. So I know he was already rolling into, okay, I gotta get Matt. And Matt had been, you know, he had been sick a little bit. Like he had been like laid up or whatever, yeah. where he wasn't able to shoot. He's like, oh, I'm not in the gym training, you know? Um, he hadn't been feeling good, so it's like he like mom. We got to get the videos and be able to, tr you know. He tried to coordinate between when I'm going to be home and then, of course, get Matt in there. So it's a new month, and we always get started with the new months and ready to kick stuff off. Get think plan out our content for the month yeah. because obviously we're putting out videos every day, even though it's over a majority of like different arena, like arenas and areas, and yeah. like you know he's shooting in Venice or he's shooting in Vegas or shooting at this expo oh, or that. So, like yeah, yeah I mean. He's all over the place, the Milo series and, you know, our coaches' corners and our Ask the Docs and yeah. all our new talent and getting the hype for the Olympia train going. I mean, guys, this is a lot of moving parts. So it was, it's just, there's a lot of planning that goes into these videos, but, you know, we having now, like, we, we had that kind of, like, a lot of things planned out over the next few months. And it's just, it's a huge crush to us because... Like we were really building this thing, and how we considered like Matt like a huge part of that. Family, yeah. yeah, so it's it's really devastating for a lot of us. Um, but you know, you guys can still help out. You know, there's still right now they're doing a, something really special for Matt. So yeah, he um, and and I want to say also you're right. The the first part of the first three part of uh, the first three weeks of the month. He was actually, I couldn't even go to Vegas because he wasn't feeling well. Finally, on the third week, I was able to go. And that's when I shot that last video that we just posted a day ago, actually a day before Matt passed. Uh, that was last time I was in Vegas. And he actually really liked it. Um, Which is crazy because, you know, the views were great. And it was funny because he was talking about the video and he was like, you know, your health insurance and like, you got to get your checkups and this yeah. and that, which is super important, right? Yeah. And then Dave launches the video and, and then the video goes live and it's getting a lot of traction. We get a lot of great comments and Dave hits him up. Hey, the video's doing great. He's excited, right? Yeah. And then boom, like the next few day. Hours later, a few hours like, later. It's like, what's, man. Unbelievable. And he was so, you know, he was so adamant into, especially since he was sick about get price, get it, health insurance, go get your check. I mean, I'm telling you, he was just so careful about his health. It just, it just makes any sense. But if that's, if there's a message to take away home for everyone who's watching this is that, you know, we're doing a sport that's risky. We all know it. So, you know, you've always been good about your blood tests several times a year, uh, all along your career and stuff. And that's something you always told me to do. Get health insurance. It's part of life. It's like if something bad happens and you don't have it, I could get run over on the road, I'm riding my bike and then, you know, it's like, I mean, we're talking uh, domestic, you know, the United States guys, because it's not like you're right. a Canadian, like right, right, your right. health care comes automatic. But, you know, here insurance is expensive. Like, you know, to, for me to pay for great insurance for myself, which, you know, I've always carried the insurance, it gets expensive, especially yeah. like the people that are married and have children. And yeah. some people pay $2,000 a month for insurance plus. Oh. And it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's very, um, you know, if you get sick, and you don't have the insurance, you know, you're, you're looking at some hefty bills, especially if you, you know, if you're financially well off. Able, yeah. yeah, I mean, you've got to get the health insurance and you've got to be covered in that sense. But more importantly, you've got to go for your blood tests. I mean, that's something, and listen, you could go in, everything could be great, you could leave, you know, doesn't mean all, all your things are going to be great, but just kind of be proactive about right. what you do. You have to be. Yeah. And Dave talks about risk things. Listen, there's a risk in everything. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and, and sugarcoat anything and say, well, you know, I did everything right. Listen, man, I, I abused my body in, in many ways, you know, whether it be the lack of sleep, the training, what I took. Um, traveling, yeah, the traveling. Uh, Look at your back, you know. But there. listen, I was eating, yeah, I was eating, you know, five pounds of meat a day some days, and you know, just nonstop. The food can be the most damage, damaging thing, I think, because listen, the body's not made to eat, you know, six or eight times a day, and you know, process all that food. Listen, the output of calories, you know, your body you just become a burning machine, but. Like it can't do that 24 seven year round. I mean, that's why we train for competitions and we train for four months. But listen, man, sometimes you put stuff in your body, everyone's prone to different situations based on their genetics. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, like we, we 
you know, some people run into issues. And, uh, you know, I've always been proactive with making sure that I'm trying to do as much of the right thing as possible. But listen, bodybuilding, um, football, baseball, all, nothing, none of that. Your body is not made to crash into one another body or go under 600 pounds of, of weight when you're doing a squat. And that's why we end up, I tore a bicep or whatever else. I had to recover. I still wanted to push myself. Your body fat levels are only so supposed to get so low. You push yourself to the extreme. You stress the hell out of your body. Yeah. I mean, listen, there's so many different ways you can view things as your career. People eat garbage, okay? They drink six cups of coffee a day. That is dangerous, okay? Smoke. People overweight, yes, smoking, um, being, uh, you look at, pe look at people that breathe in certain, like where they live, you mean certain chemicals, chemicals and I mean, listen, we're all, like, we can all be in front of things that are gonna be negative to our health, right? But the best thing we can do is just try to be proactive about, okay, I wanna live long term. And I'll be honest, like I was one of those guys that early in my career, man, if you said, hey, I can, you can win the Mr. Olympia, but you're gonna take years off your life, I would've made probably made that decision to do it, but being now 45, I don't think that way anymore. I just wanna live as long as possible. I'm not trying to be anything other than, you know, who I am. I mean, I'm trying to slowly downsize and I continue to downsize a little bit. I mean, my weight's pretty standard now, but I try to eat as healthy as possible. I still have my cheats here and there. Uh, I am human, but I'm not doing anything really to risk at this level um, and get on stage. It's funny, I asked Matt when we were training, I said, you know, you're gonna compete? And he's like, I don't know. You know, he really didn't have an idea. Because like, he's a dad now. Yeah, mm -hmm. so his mindset obviously changed and you know, it's just really unfortunate. So, I mean, we can talk in circles forever. Uh, you know, we miss, we miss him, uh, we're gonna miss him. I mean, it's still so new to us. And you know, thank you guys for the outpour of, of comments. Uh, condolences, if I haven't answered people, that's like, there's probably hundreds of people that have reached out to me that have not answered. Thank you. Um, I can't answer everyone just because it's just right now. And this just happened yesterday too. Yeah. So we kind of want to gather our thoughts before we put something out, you guys. Yeah, <laughs> we're not news reporters, <laughs> and you know we're not people that just do YouTube videos for views. Like I don't give a shit about the views. I say this all the time. Um, it's great when we get a lot of views on a video, but um, you know we we get excited for views when, when it's people like Matt or or a Milos or... Because we feel like we're helping. Yeah, I know way. I'm gonna get views because yeah. just of my name or whatever, but uh, to be honest, like I'm just trying to put out very positive vibes and unfortunately this video, you know, we're trying to be as positive as we can, but this is unfortunately one of those situations that we never really want to talk about. No. Um, it's difficult for us, but um, our wishes go out to his family, uh, obviously his wife, his child, and uh, all those people around him, his his fans, um, his clients, his um, friends. He had a lot of friends. And yeah. Him. One of the reasons why I wanted to do this also is because so many of his friends have actually reached out to me to tell me like, that the first thing that came to their mind was to help Rachel, help his family, help his son. So they actually set up a GoFundMe, uh, which I'm going to put the link in the video. That's already. Uh, was very, very successful in, in just one day, which I think is great. I think Adam McVeigh saw, saw this one. Also another one uh, of his friend, uh, Phil Viz, uh, which was one of his best friend, is willing to do some seminars. I know he's gonna be traveling all over the States, including Vegas, I just spoke to him on the phone, and he's gonna give all the proceeds to Rachel. So uh, I, I, it's great to see so many of his friends and people re reaching out and, and wanted to help him, even though he's not here anymore, helping his family, his legacy, his son. Um, for nothing just because they know it's the right thing to do and Matt will do the same thing for them so please if you have any um, spare dollars or anything that could help Matt and his family and his son is, we will put the link the GoFundMe and we really appreciate it if you guys could help him in any way shape or form so that's our video um, we just wanted to put it out there we kind of sat and talked about hey you know we really should do this ASAP I just got to California. We have a big event going on the next couple of days, and we're here um, in our hotel. So uh, we appreciate everyone reaching out once again. Uh, you know, keep his legacy alive, guys. Um, you guys that are, you know, were people that he interacted with or, you know, followed our stuff, you know, based on the Matt Porter um, series, then listen, stay tuned, guys. You know, we'll, we'll do our best to, to carry that legacy and positivity and, 
and always, you know, uh, you know, teach everyone that, you know, that learning and the knowledge is super important what we do. So, uh, you know, stay positive and uh, God bless you, Matt. Thank you.